I've heard of jealousy when it comes to relationships before, but the woman I'm about to talk about in this story takes jealousy and rage to a whole nother level that I don't think I've ever heard of in my life. So this woman's name is Sandra Jimenez, and she's 44 years of age, and she's out of Miami. And this woman was arrested and charged because she stabbed her boyfriend in the eye with a needle. And here's the crazy part about it. As crazy as that sounds and as painful as I'm sure that was, that's not even the worst part. The worst part is that that needle she had inside the syringe was rabies. So yes, this woman stabbed her boyfriend in the eye with a syringe that had rabies in it. And the reason she did it is because she caught her boyfriend looking at other women. That's it. That is all. And you can look at her mugshot right here and you can tell she has that look of, oh, I don't care about what I did. And if I had the opportunity, I would do it again. That's literally how I'm reading her mugshot right here, right now, as I'm looking at it. Police in Florida say a woman has been arrested for stabbing her boyfriend in the eye. According to the Miami Police Department, 44-year-old Sandra Jimenez was taken into custody last Saturday and is facing an aggravated battery charge for the attack. Officers said Jimenez and her boyfriend of eight years were in an ongoing argument about him looking at other women that escalated that evening. Jimenez's arrest report stated that once the couple got home, she jumped on top of him when he lay down on the couch with two rabies needles that were for their dogs. The 44-year-old reportedly pierced her boyfriend's right eyelid in the altercation. Jimenez left the residence after realizing what she had done. Officers said they eventually found her sleeping in her vehicle nearby when she was arrested. Jimenez has been charged with a second degree felony. The unidentified boyfriend was treated at the Jackson Memorial Hospital. It says she was taken into custody and then upon her questioning, that's when she told them, she told the police that her boyfriend's injuries were self-inflicted. Jimenez appeared in bond court Monday where a judge found probable cause and ordered her to stay away from her boyfriend who she had been with for eight years. The girlfriend remains held at Turner Guilford Knight Correctional Center, where she was granted a public defender with a bond set at $7,500. It remained unclear if the couple would seek a reconciliation in their relationship. Now, here's the crazy part about this. I feel like they undercharged her with this situation right here. This woman took a syringe and stabbed this man in the eyelid that had rabies in it. Like, she could literally impair his vision. Hopefully, they'll be able to save his eye. Like, luckily, it wasn't in the eyeball. But still, she knew that there were rabies in this needle. And she stabbed him with it anyway because of him allegedly looking at other women or them or him looking at other women. The thing is, they've been together for eight years. Of That's a very long time for them to be together. And she... This is just the, this is what's her response out of what would be seen as pure jealousy because he was looking at other women. It's not like he was going around sleeping with them. It's just that he looked and she probably fell out. Oh, the eyes are starting to wander. That usually means something else at the same time. And this is what she decided to go ahead and do. And it makes you wonder, have they ever gone? Had they ever had domestic disputes before? But it just this is the furthest has ever gone. If I was him get out as fast as I possibly can. The fact that she even had a bond that was set at $7,500, that's extremely low considering what she did. In my honest opinion, she would not have a bond and then they said that she was just ordered to stay away uh, from him. That means nothing because she could go right on back if you, know, if you really think about it. It's not like she has some kind of a monitor or something like that, like kept her on, on house arrest and they stay at two different locations. But I'm going to say this right here, and I hope that some, and this is more towards, I would say, black men to not get offended when I say what I say, because I see some of the conversations that some of you have when it comes to the quote unquote Latina and how y'all like her feistiness. 
is this the feistiness that y'all say that y'all like? That's the question I really have because I've always heard a lot of black men say they love that feistiness of the Latina. They love how, like, they love her attitude. They find it sexy. They find it appealing, which is crazy because some of you say that you do not like the attitude and the ratchetness of a black woman, but you like the attitude and feistiness and the spiciness of a Latina. Is this the spiciness and the feistiness that you claim to love and to like where a woman gets mad at you for looking at another woman allegedly and her first response to you of what you did is to pounce onto you and stab you in your eye with rabies filled syringes in a needle because that's exactly what this woman just did not saying all the rest of them do it but i've heard some stories but this one right here definitely takes the cake this goes beyond like throwing a dish or throwing a shoe or anything that can be thrown this woman took a needle with rabies in it that was meant for the dogs and stabbed it in her boyfriend's eyelid for allegedly looking at other women just looking not touching not getting into any type of physical contact just looking it makes you wonder what she her response would have been had she found out he was sleeping with other women that's a scary thought when you think about what she did just for him looking. 